Welcome to the Minister of Hygiene's gaming channel. Uh, here we're going to be playing Blood Bowl 2, like we have been recently. Uh, this is my Dark Elf team, the Minister's Blackhearts, against the manliest men of Man Mountain. I believe that's the name of his... Uh, field. And he's a Bretonian, which I haven't actually run into before. And here's my Dark Elf team, the Minister's Blackhearts. I picked up a Witch Elf, Director Theory. There she is in her, uh, hot pants and, uh, sports bra. <laughs> there we go. Well, let's go past this team presentation and get this, get this started. Now, Bretonians only have, like, two types of players, if I remember correctly, or three. They don't have many. Let's see what this guy's got here. Okay. We've got Philip the Brown, who has, uh... He, this guy is pretty... He's got a... Pretty, uh... Level team. What's that? That appears to be, uh... Wrestle. Uh, Finn from Tall Earl, his lineman. Look, I mean, their AV kind of blows there, and their movement sucks. A blocker. Uh, a blitzer, so now they have three types of players, it looks like. Uh, Dauntless, Catch, and Block. Huh. Dauntless, Catch, and Block. Guard, that can be pretty useful in Wrestle. Finn, I don't really like Wrestle because it leaves me on the floor, so whenever the opponent's opposing team is on the floor too, but he gets to jump up and move. I mean, ah, it's just... The only thing nice about it is it takes down... If the guy's got a block, it makes him lay the person out. So it's decent on defense, but offensively, I don't think it's very good. Um... Oh, this guy's got a lot of skills. Dauntless, catch, block, safe hands. Uh, what's that one? I'm not recognizing the symbol off the top of my head. Strip the ball. Interesting, stripping the ball. I've seen too many people with that. Uh, another wrestle on his blocker. I guess blockers just start with wrestle. Red, wrestle. Brutzers seem to all have uh, those skills. It's actually a pretty skilled team. So let's uh, let's roll this beautiful bean footage. Okay. Now he chose to be on the defensive, which is is fine. I usually, when I'm facing an elf team, I like to be on the offensive because then I can just knock the crap out of him and move forward. Although. Usually have a big guy. So I'm going on the offensive, bringing out my witch elf. Director Theory. She's got an AV7, so i got to be a little careful with her. Um, move a blitzer up front. I'm leaving Bureaucrat 5 out. There we go. A little lopsided, but not too bad. Throw a rock! Oh no! Not on me though, haha! -ha. His own guy. Oh, that's useful. Nice. KO'd, he's out. Awesome. So, he's already down one player right off the bat. Yippee. Yeah, he, uh, I don't like that being way over there. Grab that ball and get it somewhere safe. Hand it off because I knew what I was going to do. Let's push him back. Now, he doesn't have anybody with Frenzy, so I don't worry about, you know... It takes a lot of effort to push somebody from the pitch without Frenzy. Um, boom. Knocking him down. There we go. Build a little cage here on the edge of the field.
run her way out there, make him think, oh no. Basically, uh, if I get free, I'll pass to her. He's got to pull somebody off to catch her, so. And chances are. Yeah, see, he's pretty far away from catching it. Risks. He's got to risk him in to do it. Uh, unfortunately, both down. Not too bad, but. I think he's rather going to hit me. Boom. Yeah. Didn't hurt me. That's a weird call. Oh, with his arm waving around. Oh, the, the arm waving around thing kind of reminds me of, uh, haha, <laughs> double. Oh, well, he had rolls. He uses re-roll. He has a lot of re-rolls. He had four re-rolls? Knock me on my butt. That kind of reminds me of, uh, Arsenio Hall. I don't know if any of you guys are old enough to remember Arsenio Hall. Yeah, he was gonna have to use a blitz to knock her down, but I doubt he was going to because he'd rather go after that. I would have. Well, he didn't have much choice, frankly. I'm I'm about to blitz right past that whole side. I don't know if this guy's played elf teams very much. Oh, bummer. Well, bummer for him. Boom. I'm not going to bother hitting people with an elf team because he has a lot of wrestles and stuff like that and I'd rather not risk, risk it. I'll just score. Boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Director Theory. Bam. Kicking some butt. Uh, maybe I'll use watch them more often when I finally get some race specific cheerleaders. That's just such a bummer. I mean look, they got some of the models in the in the stands. I just saw one. I saw a model in the stand. It was one of the York drummer guys. What the heck? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? What? Oh, damn it. See? See? Yorks had, like, drummer guys. Look. Look. They're right there. Oh, well. They didn't have women. <laughs> and the goblins had little, uh, like, Goblin witch, witch people in, uh, on cauldrons. I decided to keep her in. Oh. But keep her back, because she is the most fragile person I have, but very useful if he slips up and leaves somebody right next to the pitch. Just knock him right off, just within two spaces. A lot of people forget that... You can do that. Okay, I got Laundry on there. With his blitz and his dodge, he's actually pretty pretty good. This guy doesn't have any tackles, so dodge isn't going to get stopped. Uh, basically, I mean, he's only got a 1 in 6 chance of somebody knocking him down. He's only got an agility 3, so he's not moving from that position, but it also means if I'm hitting somebody... Oh, well, when you hit somebody, hit somebody. But I only got a one in, not one in three, a one in, one in six chance. I say one in three. Um, Manly swing it to move in one adjacent square. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, oh, right there, look at that. And, oh, right over there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. They are close enough if he needs to move it in. If he doesn't, that guy is going to be... <laughs> well, I mean, it is his turn. So let's see what he does. See, that was... Get him off the side. It is his turn. What does he do? What does he do? Unity is strength. Okay, he did surround my guys, but... Like I said, the assistant director of laundry ain't going nowhere. Um, 
put my other... I got a lineman with blocks, so he likes to sit there too. He's not a blitzer. Mm, yeah, not enough people do much there. Okay, what's what's he doing? Oh, he finally got a stumble down. No! Number seven, ouch. Okay, he moved. Ha ha ha, that was a mistake. That's a big mistake. I don't think he's played Dark Elf teams before, teams with Frenzy. Or he's not paying attention. Because, uh, yeah. Once I get free, I'm going to run uh, my Witch Elf over here, and I'm going to put him off the pitch. And that's going to break his, break his cage right open. Just bam. He concentrated on my middle, but he didn't bother running up it. So he's only pinned, like, one guy decently. Oh, he's got Fend. That's interesting. I don't move forward. But push him out. Now, normally I wouldn't put somebody there. But because she's going to be... He's standing here. And after I push him out, she's going to be standing up here. He's pretty protected, so I don't have to worry about him so much. Most he's going to be is pushed back one. Push. Okay, let's do it. And I needed him there to give her more dice on that. And on the pitch. Boom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I like to see. There, he's... I mean, nobody's injured or anything yet, but he is definitely... Missing two players from the pitch. And no, he's, he's missing one player from the pitch. Oh, no, no. There's two now. Two from the pitch. That ain't too bad. But the fact is, he ran that up there. Look at, look at that. No, oh, that sucked. But I wanted him out. Look at that. Yeah. He needs to get him out. And if he doesn't, he is definitely not going to be doing too well. Try to limit his ability to run all the way over there. Okay. Tossed it. Yeah. It looks so weird when he hits. Just sort of like chest bumps you. I wonder if they use the same animation for big guys. Chest bump. Chest bump the Red Ogre down or chest bump the Minotaur down. It just sounds really silly. Oh. I don't know these guys seem to use the same animation just with different skins. What is he doing? Get a handoff. Could do. What is he doing? What in... What a weirdo. I... I mean, he had no guy here that could back him up. He'd just be hanging out in the middle of nowhere. I can move. I got of these guys here. They can all run over here. I don't think he's run... I think I don't think he's played uh, many Dark Elf teams or Elf teams. Um... I know people tend to bail on him because they get injured really easy. But yeah, I'm just gonna knock one of these guys off if I can to, to free up a tackle zone. Grab it and then run that SOB in if I can. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, let's see if I can push it out. Push that ball. Push. Yeah. Okay. Same result. Works for me. And, uh... Grab it. Dodge. Let's hand it off to him. Oop. And run that. <laughs> I guess he didn't want me to score again. I've... <laughs> Whatever. Man, what a wimp. What a wimp. I don't know. He didn't get any SPPs. 
Our player points. What a what a wuss. I don't know. They're just Yeah, wow. Uh, and I rolled a I rolled an eleven with him, so I was able to up his armor value. So I actually have a dark elf with a nine armor value. Which is crazy. So it was that or he was gonna get armor value or strength and or a skill. And you know what? I'm like I don't really care about strength too much. Uh, but I would like to have one guy who can really stand on the front line. It looks like Beercrat 3 is that man. Not have to worry about getting hurt so much. And there you go. That that was a really quick the manliest men pushed out. Manliest men of Man Mountain. Totally pushed out halfway through the game. Not even halfway. I mean, that wasn't that wasn't even the first half of was it? Was it? Well, anyways, they pushed out. I hope you enjoy watching uh, watching the uh, game. I don't know why it took me so long to say that, but it did. Have a great life. Thank you.